The year is 2030. The war for dominance in the North has begun. Naval War, Arctic Circle. The weather systems that we have implemented in the game uh, are uh, realistic ones. Not many other games who takes into account that the Earth is spherical and models that mathematically while it's, uh, while it's happening. Since the units are based on the real war machines, they have a set way to operate and we don't have hundreds of them in the scene at the same time. So we have the possibility of adding more detail in the scene. We're trying to make naval war accessible to the modding community, to allow them to create their own uh, missions and units to add to, to the game. Naval War Arctic Circle is a stealthy experience and uh, you have sensors that you employ in order to find your enemy. We placed Naval War Arctic Circle, as name implies, in the Arctic region and it wouldn't make sense if the weather and the climate didn't play any role. Uh, as the weather changes uh, and you look upon the specifics of the weather, wind speed and, and sea state, you need to adjust your game plan accordingly. Rain and snow, for example, does influence your sensors. Radar is going to be much less efficient if uh, it's a lot of rain. Using your active sensors in naval war is a really powerful measurement and it is a necessary tool, but it does have its backsides. It's like uh, looking for someone in a forest using a torchlight. Uh, you will find them once you point the torch at them, but if you're not careful where you look, they will see you as soon as the flash comes on. Play Naval War Arctic Circle. Play with the great machines of war.